Why couldn't the Jedi sense Palpatine, who at the time was the reigning Lord of the Sith and most powerful dark side user in the galaxy, despite being frequently in the same room as him? The answer to this question is extremely interesting and goes beyond just using an ability to mask his presence from then. To answer the question though, they actually did somewhat sense him, but not specifically Palpatine, but a larger plot to destroy the Jedi as a whole. This was actually something that was brought up frequently by council members of the time, that they always felt something beyond their sight was awry. Jedi Master Pong Krell even received a vision that revealed the destruction of the Jedi would come from within the Republic and not an outward source. Palpatine used the very complex ability known as Buried Presence, which is Force Cloak taken to its highest degree. By using this, he tricked the Jedi into thinking he had little to no Force potential, as he held all his connections to the Dark Side and the Force itself away, in a sense, burying it deep. The other reason the Jedi couldn't sense him is the far more interesting explanation as to why they never felt his presence. The rule of two era Sith labored for thousands of years to place Palpatine where he was, and the only reason Palpatine was the one to finally reap the rewards is because the state of the galaxy and the Jedi themselves allowed him to. I have a full video planned on this later, but a brief explanation is because the Jedi became predictable. Not necessarily lazy, but predictable enough that the Sith could take advantage. Prior to the Clone Wars, the Jedi of the Order believed the Sith were all destroyed, and they focused their efforts on other things, thus becoming unfamiliar with their sworn enemy. The Jedi of the time also fell into a dangerous pattern, only going and destroying the dark side when it arose, and not actively seeking it out to prevent its rise. This is probably the biggest reason as to why Palpatine was able to remain hidden because he most often, for lack of a better word, was inactive, and because he was inactive, they never sought him out on a large scale. This is a huge mistake Yoda refers back to after the rise of the Empire, that the Jedi taught their students to steer clear of the dark side and thus became unfamiliar with the signs and what it looked like. This is why, in Empire Strikes Back, Yoda tells Luke to enter the dark side cave, Yoda learned from the past mistakes, and saw that the Jedi needed to know the dark in order to fight against it, instead of locking it away and pretending it never existed. The other really big piece as to why Palpatine was so successful and able to hide himself was because of the Clone Wars. This war took the Jedi's mind off of seeking out the Dark Lord of the Sith, and put their attentions towards winning the war. It also drastically reduced the Jedi that were around Sidious, as many were forced to depart Coruscant to go fight. Another very important reason as to why Sidious was able to do this was because of the Jedi Temple itself. Originally, the location of the temple was a shrine for the Sith, and contained large amounts of the dark side of the Force. The Jedi constructed their temple on top of this shrine to attempt to extinguish the dark energy within. This was done as sort of a symbol to represent that the Age of the Sith was over and buried by the Jedi. This was, in reality, a huge mistake as Palpatine drew a lot of his power from the shrine beneath the temple and it allowed him to keep himself relatively unseen. Palpatine also used the arrogance of the Jedi against them. He saw the Jedi walk the halls of the temple discussing how for thousands of years the Sith had been gone and because of the Jedi they would never return. Palpatine, concerning hiding his presence, received a lot of practice as his master was a notable businessman and conducted affairs all throughout the galaxy. To say that the Sith of this era were in hiding is actually incorrect, it was quite the opposite. Instead of hiding in the shadows, they became influential people in the galaxy, and this is something the Jedi knew nothing about. The Jedi formed a skewed image of the Sith. They believed the Sith were just like their ancient ancestors, and upfront and bold warriors or cowards in the dark. The Jedi were unaware of the drastic change they experienced. This meant they searched for the Sith in dark places hidden in the corners of the galaxy rather than within the Senate. In a very basic sense, hiding in plain sight. And the final reason is actually the least significant, and that is that Palpatine always portrayed himself as weak and even clumsy at times. A great example of this is in Revenge of the Sith, during his rescue by Obi-Wan and Anakin. Palpatine sometimes fumbled around and played the role of an old man, so he wouldn't raise any suspicion whatsoever. So the answer to the question is a lot of things contributed to it, not just cloaking his darkness, but that he played on the flaws the Jedi developed, in conjunction with using the Force. This is why it took so long for the Sith to return, because in order for it to be successful, the Jedi needed to be caught off guard. 
Palpatine refrained from starting conflicts until he was absolutely ready and constructed a galaxy-spanning war to fully cloud his presence and begin with his final push. The Senate actually provided Palpatine with a ton of protection, as in a lot of cases, the Jedi had to go through them to get certain things. Since they trusted Palpatine far more than the Jedi, they made it so they would most often side and protect him. So there it is, the answer is a lot of things contributed to it, and all the stars had to be perfectly aligned for it to happen. The rule of two era Sith developed something the Sith of old lacked, that being patience, and in the end, patience won them the galaxy. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, if you have any other Star Wars questions you would like me to answer, write it down below or tweet me at stupendouswave and I will try to answer your question there or with the full video dedicated directly to the question. Again, thank you for watching, may the force be with you, and have a great day.